Before this video gets started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver or an Uber driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description to sign up. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. If you're completely new here and you've never seen any of my videos before, hello, my name is Dylan and I run this YouTube channel called the Rideshare Hub. I make videos on Uber, Lyft. Uh, we have a bunch of other creators as well who make videos on DoorDash, food delivery, you name it. We do it, all right? Anything that has to do with making money, um, yeah, this is the channel, this is the place to be. So go ahead and click subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to see more videos on how to make money uh, with Uber and Lyft and all these other um, driver food delivery apps. So I just wanted to say, you know, I haven't been making videos too often uh, in the past week or so. Usually I make videos every single day, but something bad happened, I know. Um, yeah, my computer broke. It doesn't turn on or anything. But anyways, enough about me. Let's get straight into today's video. What is the best car for Uber or Lyft? All right, so if you guys know me, um, I drive a 2011 Ford Escape. I believe it's an XLS or an XLT, um, whichever the cheap one is, that's the one I have. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you think is the best car for Uber and Lyft? I'm gonna name off a couple of my favorite cars uh, for driving for Uber and Lyft, and then I'm also just gonna lay out some basic ground rules that I always go over if I'm thinking about buying a car or if somebody asks me what is a good car if they're thinking about buying it. I just wanna start out by saying it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can pretty much drive any car as long as it has four doors and it's uh, 10 years old or newer for Uber, and then I think it's like 12 or 13 for Lyft. Um, <clears throat> Lyft is a little bit more flexible, but yeah, as long as your car runs and can pass the inspection, like, it, that's, that's good. But if you're thinking about buying a new car, um, here are just some things to go over, or a used car. I, I wouldn't suggest buying a new car for Uber or Lyft, but if you're thinking about buying a used car for Uber and Lyft, here are some basic questions to ask yourself. Number one, what is the car worth? All right, so just with this one, you wanna, you don't want your car to be worth too much money because you're gonna be putting miles on it. And every time you put a mile on your car, it goes down in value just a little bit. So, you know, if you're driving a car with zero miles on it and then you put on 50,000, it's gonna drop in value a lot. But if you're driving a car that already has 100,000 miles on it and you put on another 50, it's not really gonna drop that much. Um, and that's the same with if you're driving a car that has 150,000 miles on it. Put on, if it goes up to 200, it's not gonna drop that much. Um, now, there are other factors that do go into consideration like maintenance, um, you know, obviously newer cars don't need to be um, spent too much on maintenance just because they run well, um, but if you do, know how to fix a few things, it's gonna help a lot if you're driving, driving a used car. Okay, the, the second question is, how much is the car gonna cost in maintenance each year? So you wanna take that into, into consideration. Something like a Honda or a Toyota, the maintenance is gonna be pretty low, but if you're driving like a BMW, the maintenance is gonna be pretty high. And the third question you wanna ask is, can I resell the car after driving for Uber and Lyft? Um, you know, from my car, my car, when I bought it, already had 100,000 miles on it. So if I put on another 50, I can pretty much sell it for you know a similar price. So you want to you want to not you want to get it to the point where you can resell your car. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, now, a couple of other things when you're looking to buy a car, how much is the car worth? How much do you spend on the car? Um, I want to say try to keep the car as low as possible. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving a car that's just worth too much money just because you're going to be putting a lot of miles on it. You know, you're going to be driving a lot. Um, and I wouldn't go out and buy a $30,000 car. <clears throat> if you already do have a $30,000 car, then sure, you know, you can work with that. But if you're thinking about buying a new, uh, a used car or a new car for Uber and Lyft, I would say buy a car that's worth around $10,000 or less, maybe $5,000 or fifteen thousand dollars something something pretty low just so you can um, pay for it really quickly you can pay it off if you get a loan or if you buy it in cash you know you, then you can resell it 
um, shortly thereafter. All right, so now to get in the car. So the number one car that I think is great for ride sharing, I'm gonna go over here so I can put it up right here, is a Toyota uh, Prius. I think, for first of all, Toyotas are amazing cars. You can ask anyone who owns a Toyota, and those things last forever, you know? Most of them have like 200, 300,000 miles on it, like never broken down. I don't know what it is, but they're doing something right. Um, but yeah, a Toyota Prius obviously has really high gas mileage, um, the, the maintenance is super low, and it drives super smoothly, so you know, your passengers will like that about, it, about the car. Um, and it is pretty spacious, like even in the back seat. Um, but yeah, I, I would just say, yeah, um, another car is a Toyota Yaris, um, Yaris, 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 that one is also pretty good, Toyota Corolla. That one, you know, classic sedan, classic pre, classic Uber car, classic Lyft car, and then a Toyota Camry. Those cars are all really good for Toyota. And then, um, yeah, and buy them used, of course. If you're going to buy a, a car for rideshare, buy it used. That way you get your money's worth. Um, and then the next car is going to be a Honda. Honda Civic. These are great cars. Um, I love Honda Civics. The new ones are pretty awesome, the 2018 or the 2019 models, um, they're great. Um, but the older models are, are good as well. You know, those um, get great gas mileage, run super smoothly, and they last forever, and the maintenance is super low. So, um, and then another cheaper car, I believe the Honda Fit, is it the Honda Fit? Honda Fit is uh, actually cheaper than the Honda Civic, so. Um, and then a Honda Accord is good too. Um, my sister drives a Honda Accord, I believe, or a Civic. I'm pretty sure it's an Accord. But yeah, they're just great economy cars. Um, and then my brother drives a Chevrolet Bolt. <laughs> um, I think that's the one he drives to work, uh, because he, he commutes to work. Um, but yeah, Chevrolet Bolt. And I think, um, I don't know, I think, uh, Uber or somebody is partnering with Chevy. You know, this is top secret news here, um, uh, for their driverless cars soon. Um, but yeah, also, I don't know, I was in Vegas the other day, and they, they, uh, there was a driverless car, I, aut autonomous car, when I was in Vegas, um, I actually got picked up by one, and, um, you know, there was drive, there was a drive, two people in the front seat, just making sure it ran smoothly, but they weren't controlling it at all, it just went all on its own, um, so, a lot of people have been saying, oh, driverless cars won't be in effect for another 20, 30, 50 years. They're actually already in effect in Vegas through Lyft. <laughs> Lyft is already doing driverless cars in Lyft, in Vegas, so um, it's not too far away, guys. Um, I don't know. Obviously, none of us really, really know, but it is, you know they are actually doing it now. So um, I don't know. I just want to make this video super short to spike this conversation, spark this conversation, not spike it. Uh, spark this conversation. What is the best car to use for Uber and Lyft? What do you drive? Um, is there, are you thinking about buying a new car or a used car for Uber and Lyft? And in your opinion, what is the number one all time best car for Uber and Lyft? Let me know in the comments below. And actually I just wanted to say, if you don't have a car, you can rent one. There's a lot of cool rideshare uh, rental companies that um, help you rent cars. I'll leave links in the description below. The ones that I can think of off the top of my head are Get Around, Hire Car, um, Maven, I believe, is the, is the name of the car, is the name of the one, and then Hertz, and then through Lyft Express Drive. Um, I think those are the main ones. I'm going to be making a whole separate video on rideshare rental cars, but uh, yeah, I'll leave links in the description if you want to rent a car. That way you don't have to pay for maintenance and depreciation. You just pay for gas, which is pretty cool. Um, it does cost like 200 bucks a month, a week, but if you think about it, you know, the fact that you're not paying for... Uh, depreciation and maintenance alone is um, is huge um, but anyways guys if you're not yet a driver and you think about becoming a driver use my link in the description for a sign on bonus go ahead and click subscribe let me know in the comments below anything I'll be answering all the comments soon so thank you all for watching hope you have an amazing day and we will talk to you soon it's been another episode of the rideshare hub oh yeah really quick we have merch we have merch uh, Right here have merch. We have t-shirts, we have women's t-shirts, we have hoodies, long sleeves, and then there's also leggings on there if you want some leggings. So go ahead and check that out. All the links are in the description. All right, guys. 
We will see you all next time. Bye.